Welcome into the Red Fox Report presented by Marist Center of Sports Communications. I'm Tommy Armstrong here with Dan Allback. Let's take a look at some fall sports action. And we start with Marist football. They're searching for their first win against Bucknell, who is 1-1 on the season. Senior Ralph Rucker, the quarterback, had a great game against Marist last time out. And look at that, a dot to Eric Weatherly. The emphatic celebration, and Bucknell gets up early 7-0. Marist looking to respond on their first drive. Its new quarterback, Enzo Arjona, for the Red Foxes, throws a dot right to Will Downs. That's his first passing touchdown as a Red Fox. He's up fired up. Unfortunately, in the third quarter, he had to leave with an injury, a right hand injury. See the splint going on there. Sonny Menino in for the Red Foxes, follows the ball on the rollout right. A deep shot here, and he's got Mohamed Diawara. It's a season high, 125 yards, most of his collegiate career for the six year player. Wasn't enough for Maris though, a dot to TJ Cadden. Rugger sees the blitz coming, the Bisons go up 2-1, and Marist winless to start the year. Marist soccer hosted LIU after a massive win over a ranked Fordham squad. Early action game scoreless, corner kick, finds room by the net, and it's knocked in by Heis for Hool. First career goal by the freshman to start the Marist goal scoring. They'd enter 2-0 into halftime. Kyle Evans on the breakaway thinks John dishes to Evan Marks, sneaks one in. Another freshman first career goal gives Marist a huge 3-0 lead. But LIU wasn't throwing in the towel. Three minutes later, Nicholas Thanhofer ripped to the top of the net for the score, and the Sharks have some life. 18 minutes remaining. Jesper Mickelson from outside the box sees his chance and finds the back of the net. The Sharks now in a hurry within one. LIU looking for one more late chance. Stephane GK delivers a strike here, but Jamie Lowell denies the equalizer. Massive play for Maris as they hold on to a 3-2 victory at home. Marist women's soccer 2-0 in the MAC on a two-game win streak. The Mount St. Mary's 0-2 in the MAC. 27th minute here, though. Poughkeepsie High School alum Sidoni Clark with the left foot gets the first goal for the Mount. Ice in her veins as they go up early. But into the second half, 63rd minute here, junior Maya Reed has the ball on the wing in the left side of the box, and it's blocked. Gabby Toronto attempted the fake out on the goalie, but freshman Adelaide Paredes Former Mac Defender of the Week, by the way, gets her first save. 74th minute, a corner kick here from Mejia. Oh no, it's in on Marist. An own goal, and the Mount takes a 2 0 lead. And almost immediately after, Margaret Johnson trying to get something going for the Red Foxes, but blocked again by Adelaide. She gets a clean sheet, six saves. The Mount win their first Mac game, and Marist loses their first. Marist Volleyball travels to Niagara for their first MAC match of the season, still in search for their first win. Looking to fight back in the first set, game point Niagara, the freshman Taylor Miller sends one down on the left side to keep Marist alive. The very next play, however, Niagara looking to stop the push. They're going to set up Liana Tolliver on the left. Delivers a spike right back, Tolliver's fourth kill. Puts Niagara up 1-0. Now game point, the second set, Maris this time. Alyssa White with some firepower behind the spike, ties things up, and Maris wins their first set of MAC play. Fast forward to the third set now, 24-23 Niagara lead. Maris with the serve looking to extend the play. Tolliver on the left side this time, finding empty space, wins the third set. Niagara up 2-1, looking to finish things off. Maris tries to send one in, a wall put up by Niagara leading to the victory, and Maris drops their first MAC match of the season. Well, that's all we have for you today on the Red Fox Report. Alongside Tommy Armstrong, I'm Dan Albeck, and we'll see you next time.